Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you to my YouTube series. This series is myself converting my Amiga 1200 desktop into a customized PC case. The Amiga is pretty much standard, apart from it has an 8 megabyte fast RAM card and an 8 gigabyte compact flash card. So you can see I'm basically running on a PC monitor at the moment. And yeah, so basically I will going through taking out the case put it into a PC case and then going from there so let's uh, get started and I show you the components we're going to be using okay guys so these are the basic components that I'm going to be using I have the tower case there I have a CD drive and the GoTech case at the top there power supply ID interface, mouse, keyboard, etc. I shall go through the bits one by one for you. We have the USB keyboard adapter there. So that's going to be stuck over the chip on the uh, motherboard. And then I might not use the wire that comes with it. I might connect it to the USB port on the front of the PC case, which you'll see shortly so that's that still wrapped yeah so this people may recognize this gbbs interface board or two vg outputs this one so this is just basically a very cheap and basic flicker fixer and scan doubler hopefully they're going to mount inside the case for it to work with an old crt monitor i have Various front fascias for DVD drive and a floppy drive, which will be going silver. Match the case. Resistors to go on C Sync on the GBS for the uh, drop the voltage down. I have IDE fixed board. I can run CD drive and the hard drive. But yeah, an old Mac keyboard, USB. It will go nicely with it. And a PC power supply to modify. May may not use this exact one. I've got a couple of spare ones now, so I may use a different one. Go tech mount, ID he DVD ROM drive case. So Lee and Lee, never pronounce it right, Ryan Lee, Lee and Lee, PC tower case, full aluminium, brushed aluminium, nice looking. Obviously, they need a bit of a Clean off the sides. Plenty of space in there, hopefully. Good thing about it is the motherboard tray slides off and gives me a complete open frame. Just bear with me. Okay, so what I've gone, I've drawn around the A1200 motherboard got a basic template and that basically fits in there nicely see if it's in there nicely and then I've done the same got the old back plate in this PC case, drawn around it on this hard board and mapped out the ports for the 1200 and that sits neatly, what is it, 
way around. That is that way around. Sits neatly on the back there. And also this will be transferred with some sheet of aluminium or sheet of steel. So that when you basically have it, it will basically be the bow plates. And I will probably mount the PSU down that way or towards the bottom, depending on what the space situation is going to be like. So in the next few videos, we'll have a look mounting up, um, offering up the motherboard, getting these cut out, and put onto the metal plate, and work out where the power supply is going to go. But that's basically what the project is going to be. Hopefully, we'll get that done basically over the Christmas break. And the uh, new year would have the series complete. So that's it for now.